Hello everybody, it's Ellie Diecast, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Jurassic World Matchbox cars. I think these are all the ones that I'm missing. We did do a video earlier, but I think these are the rest of them. Okay, we're back, and in this video, like I mentioned, we're going to be taking a look at those Matchbox Jurassic World cars from the movie of the same name. There is the, what was this guy called? The Desert Thunder, with all those cool little dinosaur decals I mentioned in the other video we did on this. I couldn't find this one. This is the last of the... Um, blister cards I think and I think in the first video I wasn't sure how this was going to work I thought there might be two series of these I think there's one series of these that's out now and there was about six cars maybe in that series six or seven cars maybe eight. Oh, by the way there's all the cars in the series maybe there I think there was maybe I don't know but there's all the cars and but they also have five packs and the five packs came out, so I picked them up. These have different cars in them than what was in the, um, man, I really got a lot of paint on my hand. Sorry about that. Here, I'll hide my hand. Yeah, I'll hide my thumb, too. <laughs> and uh, these are different than what were in the blister packs. Whoops. And there's another five pack. There's two different five packs from what I can tell. We're going to take a look at these cars. And there is this kind of big playset that also has some different vehicles in it. So, not sure how this works. It'll be interesting to see how many of these cards are on the, or cars are on the other cards. But, we'll be right back and we'll take a look. I'm going to open up some of these so I don't have to do it on camera. Before I open them up, we'll take a look at the back. I forgot, a lot of you like to know the back, but Matchbox has developed these bold and rugged vehicles. Well, you can read the rest there for fighting dinosaurs and capturing baby dinosaurs. <laughs> There's the cars that are in this pack. Let me see if, uh, where's that? Where's that other car? Uh, which one is a uh, car here? The Travel Tracker. Is the, yeah, the Travel Tracker is right there. Third from the top on the left. So these cars are part of the same series that were on the Blister Pack. The planes are not. They also have uh, two packs. One a plane and a car. And best I could tell, those cars were part of the Blister Pack series. So the packaging and marketing on these... Oh, it's about what Matchbox usually does, but I don't, I don't really know why, why they do it that way. But I'd, I'd buy the two packs if they had exclusive cars in them. But I don't want to buy the two packs just for the plane. So there's the information. I think the other one's the same. Yeah, the other one's the same. Okay, so now we'll get back to opening them. Okay, first we're going to take a look at the Mission Force Jurassic World play set. This is that five pack that we saw earlier. We've got a little Jeep Wrangler, a little Hummer, a little Travel Tracker. I think that guy's Travel Tracker, yeah. And uh, we did see, I want to say we saw a Travel Tracker in the blister set. I'll have to go back and, and look because I remember the motorcycle on the front there i'll take a look and see if that's a color variation or if i'm remembering a different car but um the uh each of these has the little logos from the movie i really like the little dinosaur logos on them and this one will have something similar there's that t-rex logo with kind of that digital camouflage on it here is the tr travel tracker 
I guess this is for tours of the dinosaurs and if you're familiar with the Jurassic Park movie that's just never a good idea. It also comes with a little kind of meadow, medevac helicopter because well those tours do end up in people getting eaten and torn up so you do have to evacuate them and we've got this one which is kind of a cool little like a uh, Harrier jet. Those wings move back and forth in the box. It kind of looks like that, but they move up and down. And the little propellers seem to work just fine on it. It does have this little little roll cage thing to keep you know pterodactyls from picking you off in the sky. And it's got a cool little hook here that I'm assuming you could kind of play with to lift up your uh, your groups of people that were attacked by dinosaurs. So uh, a little Harrier jet is kind of a cool little addition to this set. So again, this is a five pack. Now I, it cost me somewhere around $10. That was at Toys R Us. So you might see it cheaper if it hits the, uh, the Walmarts. In my first video, I mentioned that I wasn't sure if these were Kmart exclusives because I found them at Kmart, but they're not. Uh, I found these, like I mentioned, at Toys R Us. So let's take a look at this one. Now this was the last of the cars in the blister packs I did not have. I don't think that there is a Series 2 of these coming out that, that I had mentioned in the first video. I wasn't really sure. I just couldn't find this one. And this is Desert Thunder. And he has all those very cool little dinosaur pictures on it. My son's going to want one of these, so we'll have to find a second one for him. They all have numbers on them. Do those, uh, let me see if those correspond with, no, they really don't. I was going to say if they correspond with the numbers. That's 06, but over here it kind of looks like it might be 05. So I don't think that's the trick. We'll put this guy down there. Uh, next, let's take a look at these five packs that we've got. So we'll take a look at this one first. Five packs don't seem to have a name. They're just, oh, maybe they do. Oh, they do. This is the Desert Five Pack. And let me pause the video while I open this. So I was, as I was opening this, I saw that there are three, three five packs coming out. There's a desert five pack, a jungle five pack. I've got those two, but then there's also an island five pack. I did not see that one, so I don't know if that's out yet or not. But we do have the cars from the desert five pack, so we'll take a look at them. Here is, we can zoom in on those guys so we can see them a little better. This one is, this is one of the Coyote, uh, Coyote 500. All these cars, I think, have been out in the main lines. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure we've seen all these. And uh, they just have the decorations for the movie. Uh, this one does not have a little dinosaur symbol. It has a Jurassic World symbol on it, but and it's kind of got that digital hex pattern on it. But I want dinosaurs. I'm going to get Jurassic World. I want the dinosaurs on it. This one doesn't really either. This one has this one has 04 on it. This is 03, and that is a little Baja Bandit, I think. Yep, Baja Bandit. No dinosaurs. Hey, come on. What's Jurassic World without dinosaurs? So the five pack ones do not have dinosaurs on them. Kind of disappointed. Uh, this is the, what is this guy? This guy is the Sahara Sweeper. Next up we've got the Volkswagen Type 181. It does sort of have a, it's got the logo on it. But. Come on, it's a dinosaur movie. I want dinosaurs. Again, they kind of pick some strange ones. Uh, this last one, which is the Sahara Survivor, this one, whoa, really has um, limited space to put tampas on. It's not much more than just a gray car, so there's some stuff in the back. 
So let's line these guys up here. Zoom out a little bit. Whoops. And we'll line these guys up. So that back row was our play set. There we go. We've got our our desert five pack. Well, let's take a look at the jungle five pack. Be back in a second. Okay, we'll take a look at the card from the Jungle 5 pack. So to start out with, we get this little, uh, what is this guy? He doesn't have a name. He's a little ATV type vehicle. And again, does it, they really, they picked a lot of them that don't have much of a footprint for decals. There is a little dinosaur right there. And that's about all you're going to get with these five pack vehicles. This one's a little bit better. This one is the Jeep Willys concept. And this one has a little bit better tampo there on it. Uh, tampo, I'd say decal. And what's this guy? This is the Jungle. Crawler. There you go. A jungle crawler. It has that Jurassic World symbol on it, which I'm assuming is supposed to be like the amusement park name. That logo does not look very Jurassic Worldy to me, but I'm assuming that in the movie they're being a bit sarcastic about it. Uh, we have a Sahara Survivor. Now. Let me check something here. Is this the same car? Oh, it is the same car. That's interesting. Here's our Sahara Survivor from the Desert Pack. And we get a Jungle Sahara Survivor. It's an odd thing to do, I guess. So they obviously have some color variations on these. Hmm. And my favorite car from this pack is the Hummer H2 SUV. And I really like that one. This one was kind of hidden by the uh, packaging. But it has the biggest dinosaur on it. I think this is my favorite from the series so far. So if we line the jungle pack up now remember there's an island pack i'll keep an eye out for it and we'll do a a little quick review of that one when we find it but there in the front are your island pack cars these guys back here are your desert cars that is still from the blisters that was the one i didn't find and that is your play set back there so some more jurassic world cars for you I uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.